Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to venture out and I'm going to have a pop along to Primark and um, see what autumn stuff they have because my autumn wardrobe is looking a bit sparse because basically all I like to really buy is summer clothing and let's admit it I live in the UK we don't have much of a summer anyway so I really need to stock up on the autumn and the winter clothing. Um, so I'll do my outfit of the day for use and then I'll haul whatever I buy from Primark. So outfit of the day, I have had to plug my camera in, it's, it has just died on me but I can charge it whilst I'm out. Um, outfit of the day, I'm wearing this polo neck here which I have recently purchased from Primark. I can't remember how much it was but I did haul it so I'll leave that link in the description box um, for that haul. And it's in like a nice um, beige colour here. So it's a neutral colour. It'll match loads of things. I've paired it with this corduroy, brown corduroy pinafore here. Which I bought from Primark last year. And this is actually the first time I've worn it. Um, I've only just took the tags off it. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if they're doing pinafores this year. But I know quite a few places online do pinafores. So if you did want to get your hands on one, um, it should be easy enough. Um, I haven't got any tights on because it's not actually that cold outside. And I have just paired it with some brown boots from Primark as well. That's what they look like. So this is last year's as well. Um, I absolutely love them. I love the... Um, the zip detail on them and the colour of them they match loads and loads of things so yep and for a bag I'm using my Aldo one here I recently bought this from TK Maxx for £20 but um, you can have a look online they do it in other colours as well but I feel like this one will look lovely with what I'm wearing um, which with the browns and the neutral colours I am going to go off to Primark now and I'll haul whatever I get when I get back so I am back from Primark and I bought quite a bit so this is my bag it's huge and honestly it's bulging it's even ripping already if you can see there um, so I'm going to start showing you what I've actually purchased um, just before I do jump into the haul and the try on um, if you do enjoy the video please do remember to subscribe to my channel uh, like and comment as well and I will get back to you and if you did want to share my video as well with your friends um, but yeah I'll just jump straight into it so the first item I purchased from Primark was this khaki jumper here. I think this will be lovely for um, autumn essential, for layering, or even if you did just fancy wearing it with jeans, that would look fine too. Um, but it's got the ribbed detail on it there. This was £6 and I got it in the size 6 to 8, so extra small. So I have stuck to the size I usually am. I haven't sized up or went down. So we'll see how it fits. But I'm really excited to try this out. It has some stretch to it and the material isn't too thin either. So it's not the thickest but it's not going to be a see-through or anything like that either. Um, the only thing is I did actually see it. It does have a small click on it. I'm not even sure if it'll focus in. I'm going to try and poke it through on the other side um, just so I don't have to go all the way back. I probably should have had a look at it when I was in the shop. But I just threw it in my basket. So this is the green top on. I actually really, really like it. Um, I just think it's a lovely autumn piece. Um, especially if you're layering. Or even if you just wanted to wear it plain. Just with some jeans. Um, so it is tight fitting. I'm not sure if you can see there. And it's just really, really nice actually. Um, so yeah, if you... Are going to go and buy it I would stay at the size that you usually get and um, because it just is a perfect fit it's not too big it's not too small and um, I would probably recommend getting a few of the colors as well just so you have a range to be able to layer for the autumn time it's a top that's never going to go out of fashion I mean they're around every year but yeah these ones are really nice they're not itchy or anything either I know some tops can be itchy um, they're just lovely and soft. 
The next item is the same jumper, it's just in a camel colour here. They had these on the tables um, all folded up and they did have loads of colour. So if you're after some of these in loads of different colours, definitely get yourself down to Primark because they have loads. Um, but I just got these two. So I think this is a very neutral colour. It will look great with most of my things and it will be lovely for layering. Again, it's exactly the same, it's got some stretch to it. And again, I just threw this in my basket. I didn't have a proper look at it. Um, but it has a click at the back as well, which I'm really upset about. And it does have one on the arm as well. Just if you do go down, make sure you double check the jumper so you don't have any clicks on it. Just to save you time and energy of going back if you did want a perfect one. Because I know I love perfect ones. But this time I don't know why I didn't have a look. Um, I must have just been in a rush. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go and try this on because I think it will go lovely with the skirt I bought last year. So the camel jumper, um, this is what it looks like on. I actually really, really like it. Um, but I am going to go and try and exchange the two of them just because of the clicks in it. Um, just to get a perfect one. I mean, I'm paying full price. I don't want them to be damaged. Um so I just left the sticker on, but this is the outfit I wanted to wear it with. Um, I just got this cute little dress. The colour match is actually perfect. Um, but yeah, this cute little skirt is from Primark last year. They did do a matching jumper to go with this, but I did just get the skirt. And then I just got some black tights on and some um, black knee-high boots as well. I just think this will look lovely for the autumn time. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be going back and exchanging this, but I do think they are lovely. Just double check them before you buy it. So the next item I purchased from Primark was a hoodie. I actually did see this in another person's Primark haul and I just thought it looked so nice. I had to go and get it and it's this cream one here. And it's in a lovely chenille material. Honestly, I think it's lovely. I did actually buy a jumper from Primark in this material last year. I thought it was the softest one I've ever had. And even after I put it in the washing machine, it stayed soft. Sometimes I know, um, I had this onesie. I'm not sure what material it was, but I put it in the wash. It was so soft. Then it came out all horrible and it never was the same. But with my jumper... It stayed soft, so I think this might stay soft as well because it's the same material. Um, but yeah, it has a hood here, yeah? and you've got them strings if you did want to tighten it. I just feel like it would be lovely and cosy um, if you wanted to lounge in the house or even go outside in it. I know I'll be going outside with it. But I got it in the size extra small, 6 to 8, and it was £10. So I'm going to go and try this on for you. They did actually have these, again, they were on the tables, and they did have a few colours in this as well, but I don't think I can remember many. I think there was this one, a grey one and a pink one, I can't remember if there was any more. But yeah, I think for £10, this is an absolute bargain. So, the Chanel hoodie, honestly, I love it. It's ticking all the boxes, it's warm, it's cosy, it's soft. I just can't wait to wear it, especially when it's cold in the night times. Imagine yourself with your little coffee or your hot chocolate. I just think it's going to look adorable um, and keep you really warm, actually, too. Um, I'll just step back so you can see what it looks like on. So, that is what it looks like from the side. And the back. Um, so, yeah, if you do like your hoodies oversized, I would probably recommend you getting the size up just so that it is oversized for you. Um, other than that, I think it is a perfect fit. I'm really excited to try it. I actually really, really like it. I think it's my favourite hoodie now. Um, I'll show you it with, with the hood up. Just move my hair. And that's it with the hood up. I think it just looks so warm and cosy. I just can't wait to try it out with the hot chocolate. Although I'll have to be careful that I don't spill any on me because it is very, very um, brightly coloured. I don't want to stain it or anything like that. So the hoodie I just showed you, I actually did buy the grey one as well. Um, and it's like this. It's exactly the same material. 
and again I got it in the size extra small 6 to 8 and it was £10 and um, so again I'm really excited to try this on great chenille hoodie honestly I love it just as much as the white one and um, really really excited to wear this one as well with me hot chocolate me coffee me boots on in the autumn and the winter time I just think it's lovely again um get the size up if you are wanting to have it baggy and oversized it's the same fit as the other one so I'll step back and I'll show you I just think that it is such a nice hoodie definitely go and buy one for £10 I think it's well worth it and um, they did have other colours as well they did definitely have a pink one Um, I'm not sure if I want to go back and get that but these two were the colours that I liked the most so I'm definitely definitely going to be wearing them so so much Um, but yeah absolutely love it and that is what the hood looks like when it's up. I probably won't be wearing the hood, but I still think it looks lovely and cosy with the hood on too. The next item is another hoodie, and it's another grey one. Um, but it's this one here. It's a lovely like sweatshirt kind of material. It has a big pocket at the bottom if you wanted to put your things in. And again, it has the hood and the strings to uh, fasten it, to tighten it. And I got this in the size extra small, 6 to 8. So I stayed my size and it was £10. But I just think this would be lovely for lounging around in the house in. Or if you did want to nip to the shops quickly, you could just throw this on. And I just feel like, yeah, I feel like it will keep me warm and cosy. And that's what the wrists look like. I feel like I go into Primark hoping to get some nice autumn dresses. And all I come out with is hoodies. So the grey hoodie um i'm not sure if i like it or not um i'm not sure what you think please leave it in the comments down below what you think i should do with it um if you think it's nice um because honestly i'm really not sure now that i've tried on the chenille ones i'm just in love with them um but yeah i'll step back it's just if you have a look at the bottom it's just really open Um, i just feel like i don't get really warm and cozy vibes off it um, I feel like the wind and stuff will just come whooshing up there from the bottom. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure, so leave it down in the comments what you think. But the pocket on it, quite big. Um, that's what it looks like from the side. Um, and from the back. And with the hood up. That's what it looks like with the hood up. Um, but yeah, the bottom bit, it just looks to be really open and I'm not sure what I feel about it. So please just leave the comment down below what you think about it. So the next item I purchased was a jumper. And it's a lovely black bat wing one here. That's what it looks like up close. So it's a lovely soft material as well. And then as you get down to the wrist, it goes tight. Um, I feel like black always collects loads of fur and fluff, especially since I have white dogs. Um, so I'll probably always be um, getting that roller out to try and get rid of it. I'm not sure what the actual name of that is, actually. But yeah, if you have watched my previous hauls, I did buy this in the white. And I absolutely loved it. I thought it was really flattering and super cosy so I feel like this one will be exactly the same I couldn't resist it when I seen it and um, even though I'm trying to avoid dark colours um, one won't hurt will it but yeah I got it in the size extra small 6 to 8 and it was £10 so the black batwing jumper I actually like it but not as much as the white one so if you were um and arm in between them I'd probably just go for the white one um, I just like that one the best um, but yeah I think this though it's still really nice I do still like it but the white one I just like better um, but yeah the wrists there it's tight if you can see and then that's the bat wing effect here I think it's lovely and flattering and just simple just to throw it on feel warm and cosy straight away so I'll step back so you can see what it looks like So 
So my next item is actually a summer dress. I know it's not summer, but I just thought it was a really good bargain. I couldn't resist it. And it's this lovely denim dress here. So it's not my usual style of dress, but I just thought it would be lovely for summertime. It's a lovely thin material, so it's going to be nice and airy. Even if you just wanted something to throw over the top of your bikini or your cossy, I think this will be fab for it. Um, if you have a look at the back, you can actually adjust the straps. If you would like to focus. <laughs> There, I'm not sure if you can see, but you can adjust the straps there and um, just tailor them to what you want. I did downsize for this. I got it in the size 6 simply because it didn't have an 8 and I didn't want to miss out on it. So I just bought it in the 6. See if it fits me. If it doesn't, I can easily return it. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try. And fingers crossed, fingers crossed it does fit me. Um, but this was only £5. So this is the baby doll dress. I f do remember the name now. Um, but yeah, this is a baby doll dress. I think it's absolutely adorable. I think it's lovely, lovely in summary. And I have just paired it with my espadrilles here, which I also got from Primark. Um, just recently, actually, they were in the reductions for £5. Um, but yeah, I think this will be lovely. Um, even if you just want to throw it over your costume like I've already said but even if you just wanted to go out and about in it I think it's a lovely simple summer dress really easy just throw it on put some shoes on and you're ready to go so if you wanted to you could even pair it with a belt this one here is just a one I recently bought from Primark and um, I think it was only three pound um, and I absolutely love it. It's a very nice neutral colour and it will just cinch your dress in at the waist a bit, make you look like you have like a shape under there rather than just going straight down. And then some cute little espadrilles. I think it looks absolutely lovely. So I went to have a look at the shoes in Primark and I noticed that they had loads of espadrilles left. And I did actually buy these in the black um, in the summertime and i absolutely loved them and they they had them actually reduced so i'm a bit good about that but never mind um but i got these ones here they're a lovely neutral color it's like the natural kind of material i feel like they'll match loads of things with the color they are and i got them in the size four so i'm stuck to the size i usually am hopefully they'll fit me the black ones were fine so i think these ones will be fine it's got a bit of a platform at the front I would say four inches for that heel um, and they just fasten around your foot there so just underneath your ankle as well so I think that's going to look really flattering it's not going to cut your leg off if you smile like me um, it'll make your leg look a bit longer but yeah these were down um, from £12 and they were reduced to £5 There, so they were reduced to £5 and I thought £5 I'm going to get them but then when I actually went to the till the lady said they scanned for £2 and I was I was so so happy £2, £1 per foot that's amazing they actually had loads of these left in every size actually I'm not sure why they didn't sell um, in the first place but yeah if you are going down to Primark have a look to see if they have these in your shop um, because they're only £2 at the moment so I think that's an absolute bargain I'm so glad I went in when I did so I didn't miss out on this so I know this isn't the best angle and I haven't got any false tan on so I'm a bit pasty <laughs> um, but yeah these are what the espadrilles look like when they're on honestly I absolutely love them for £2 I think they're amazing it's got the little peep toe at the front there and the strap just become um, comes below the ankle so it's not going to cut you off or anything the wedge isn't too high either they're quite easy to walk in um, but yeah Although most of the time in wedges I do feel clunky in them. But um, these ones are alright actually. But that's what they look like. Neutral colour. It's going to match loads and loads of things. I would say as well stick to the size you usually are. Because I got a size 4 which I normally get. And they do fit me really really well. Um, so yeah they don't come out too uh, small or too big. So 
yeah definitely go and buy these and they also have them in black as well if you are interested Next up I got some pyjamas, so I'm not really needing pyjamas at the moment, but I just could not resist these when I seen them. Um, they are the super soft pyjamas, and they're made using recycled material, so that's what they look like. And I got this in a size extra small, so 6 to 8. I haven't tried them on, so I'm hoping they'll fit me. Um, they just feel so, so soft, honestly. They're the softest pyjamas I've ever felt. Um, so I'm excited to try it. That's what they look like in the picture, by the way. So they've got a cuff on the, by the ankle, which I absolutely love because I'm quite small. It keeps them from trailing across the floor. Um, this tie here, I think, is just decoration. I don't think you can actually send yourself in. Um, so I'm hoping the elastic doesn't go because usually on Primark pyjamas, the elastic, for me, uh, goes off the bottoms. So... I'm hoping these ones will be all right but again they had these in quite a few colors i was debating between the pink and the beige color but i decided to go with the beige color just because it looks like i've spent more money on it and i just think it's a really nice flattering color and you do you look more expensive when you wear this color i got them in their size extra small and they were 12 pound so they're a bit pricey but I think they're going to look lovely. But they look lovely on the picture on the model. So fingers crossed that they look nice on me. So this is what the pyjamas look like. I was having trouble getting me in the whole shop before. Um, but yeah, I actually really, really like them. So that's what they look like. Have some socks on. But yeah, I actually really, really like them. Um, I've took the top in because the... The waistband is a bit too big for me, um, but that might only be because I'm small. Um, I feel like if I did size down to the 2XS, so size 4 to 6, it might be too um, tight on my legs. So I'm probably just going to keep these and try and think of a way to tighten this. Um, I, with They are a little tiny bit see-through, but I am wearing some black underwear. Um, about me in their pyjamas anyway so who cares if they're going to be a little bit see-through um but yeah honestly they're so so soft highly recommend these i think they look more than 12 pound very flattering even um you could lounge around in them for the day if you're not going anywhere um but yeah i actually really really like them the top i'll show you like there's the waistband on me it's just falling down a bit um the, I'm not sure if you can really see the gap very well, but yeah, um, the top is actually quite long, like it's longer at the back there, um, if you didn't want to tuck it in, that's what it would look like, but yeah, I think I'm going to be tucking mine in, um, but this way looks cute too, but simply because the waistband's a bit too big, I'm going to be tucking mine in. So this is what the side looks like from the side view really nice i actually really really like them if i was going to change anything about them i would make this usable um just for those who it doesn't fit and then you could probably they'll last longer if you could just keep tightening them and um, but other than that i actually really really like them and i can't wait to just go in the bath and then when i get out i can put these on because honestly they're so so soft they weren't joking when they said super soft but that is everything I purchased from Primark this time round. No doubt I'll be back there. Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed it, please do remember to like, comment and subscribe and also share my video. And I will see you again in my next haul because I do have a B&M and a Poundland one coming up for you guys. So yeah, see you again next time. Bye!